Before we get started with this video, I did want to address the elephant in the room. I colored my hair. So after three years of growing out my hair, keeping it natural, and being as healthy as possible, I decided to go back to the light side for summertime and get a balayage. So if you're new here, this is what my hair looked like before. Let me know if you like it. And if you don't like it, maybe just don't comment. Thank you. <laughs> in today's video, I'm going to start the packing process since I am moving houses. We are not moving too far away. It's about 15 to 20 minutes away from where we currently live so it won't be a big crazy long distance move by any means but I still have to pack up all of my stuff I decided to make good use of my TikTok addiction and look up some packing hacks so that we can work smarter and not harder and hopefully have a clean smooth move to this new house if you are new to my channel I would love if you subscribe before you leave and let's get started into the first hack so right here, we're standing in front of my closet. I already went through my clothes and picked out the ones that I think I'll actually wear over the next two to three weeks. Everything else can go and get packed up. So this first hack I've actually used before. It is tried and true. It is a game changer. It is so, so, so effective. And I saw it all over TikTok. So it's, it's a pretty popular hack too. And that hack is to put all your clothes in trash bags and keep them on the hangers. That way, when you get to your new place, you literally just put them up in your closet and then take the trash bag out and you're good to go. Like gone are the days that you like take everything off the hanger and put it in a box And then when you get to a new place you have to hang everything back up It's just that's a big old mess that is no longer necessary before starting this process I did fully declutter my closet if you are interested in seeing that video I will link it below so I already know everything in my closet I want to keep and I can just quickly bag it up I'm gonna be using these extra large trash bags. I just got them from Target, so they weren't super expensive. So I saw this hack of two ways. Some people put the bag over the clothes like this and then tie it with the strings. And then some people punched a hole at the bottom of the bag. Now I'm gonna do the first way because I wanna reuse these bags, okay? With the inflation rate these days, like I don't wanna waste my plastic bags. So I'm going to do it in a way so that I can still use these garbage bags when I get to the new house. So I got all my clothes in the bag. Now I'm just going to loop the ties around the hangers. I'm going to use a slip knot so that it's really easy to pull and I won't have to cut the, the handles. All right, we're good to go. So now I can literally just pack this up and then when I get to the new place, the handles will stay intact because I tied them so tight. And then when I get to my new closet, I can just pop them right in and take the bag off. Welcome to my new closet. So we are moving in. I brought all the clothes that I have on these hangers and they stayed on the hangers super easily. As you can see in transit, they just could get a little bit off and they stay completely in order. So now that we're in our destination, I'm just going to take the bags off. I'll show you how easy it is. Because I did a slip knot, all I have to do is pull this. And voila, everything is perfectly hung in my new closet. Ugh, jeans for this video was a bad idea. <laughs> So now I'm in my bathroom. So for this next hack, it is to avoid liquids from spilling in the move. And so the hack is to use either a sandwich bag or saran wrap. Saran wrap is my idea. I saw <laughs> the sandwich bag on TikTok, but the idea is to take the cap off of your liquid product, put the plastic over it, and then put the lid back on. And that way things won't crack and spill during transit. Now, Plastic bags are not expensive, but I have so much plastic wrap and this is definitely a more affordable option and I feel like it would work the exact same. So let's try it out. So this hack would be even more useful if you're moving states and you're worried about your liquids like being all shaken up. Now I'm only moving 15 minutes away, so I'm actually gonna put it in one of these little boxes. Another travel hack, we got these boxes from Costco. They're free, they're right at the register, they have a ton of them, they're happy to give them away. So if you could use boxes that are not ginormous, 
Costco will give them to you for free. Another quick tip, I heard that Facebook Marketplace is another great place to find free boxes. Now that's especially if you want like massive boxes, the kind that you could purchase at Home Depot. For us, like we aren't moving that far away, so we don't need those giant boxes. I'd rather have boxes like this that are more manageable. And I'm going to just pull out any of these liquids, put saran wrap underneath them, put them in this box so that they're ready to move. So like all the liquids I buy, the caps are like <laughs> impossible to get off. All right, so the cap is off. I'm going to take a little bit of saran wrap, put it back on, and then pop the cap back on. This hack is also genius for travel. So anything like this that has a pump, this hack will not work. So the next best thing I've seen is either put a washcloth in a hair tie or a saran wrap in a hair tie. So we'll do this one later. I'll report back later if this hack worked. So here's the box with some of those liquids. So let's see if we have any spills. I already kind of took a look and I don't think anything spilled. Yeah, I think we are good to go. And we did have a box that we did not do this with and we did have a spill of oil. So definitely recommend doing this hack at least for that little extra protection because none of my bottles spilled and this box was like mixed in with a bunch of other boxes just open floating around. We had no issues. We're back in my bedroom for this next hack. So this hack is to put your heaviest items in your suitcase. That way you can transport it on wheels. So I'm going to pack all my books in my suitcase. Now I did pack away quite a few of my books already. I wish I heard of this hack before because it would've come in handy, but they're in pretty small boxes. So they're still pretty manageable. But all of my other books I'm going to put in my carry-on suitcase. That way it will still be reasonable to carry it. And then I'll just unload my books and then bring my suitcase back in case I have anything else heavy that I want to throw in here. I don't recommend trying this hack with anything fragile. So in this suitcase, I'm going to be packing this pile of books as well as all of the books that are in my closet. Should be pretty full of books, at least heavy enough where we'll be able to test if it's worth putting in a suitcase. This definitely feels pretty heavy, so we'll see if this hack works. Last on unpacking, we have the suitcase. This hack. Seriously, if you own a lot of heavy things, especially books, you have to do this hack especially if you also are traveling longer distances. This made it so much easier to move. We are on the second story of our new house right now and like I cannot even just imagine carrying little box of books more than one flight of stairs over and over again. This made it so easy. 10 out of 10 recommend. So for this last hack, it'll be more of an honorable mention since I'm not fully ready to pack up my dishware yet. However, I did hear that a great hack for your dishware to keep your fragile safe is to get a box like this mainly for that they use for alcohol you can get this this is from Costco that we're just holding on to for when we are ready to pack our dishes but you could go to a Total Wine, BevMo, even grocery stores probably will be able to supply you with these boxes with these little cubes and this way your fragile glasses can be a little bit protected in the box also did want to mention I saw another one to wrap your dishes in your socks which I think is a really great idea especially for the ones that are particularly fragile like wine glasses so that concludes trying all of the packing hacks that I saw on TikTok. one more hack that I will be using as we get closer to the move is to pack all of your important overnight items in either a duffel bag or a carry-on suitcase separate from everything else that way when you're all moved into your new place at least you'll know everything that you need for that night is safely in one spot you don't want to be looking through every box for your toothbrush you know that's just that's not it for the first night that way you don't even have to worry about unpacking till the next day you can actually just give yourself a break please let me know if you have any amazing packing hacks i would absolutely love to hear them and it helps everybody when we all share these little hacks so that we really can pack more effectively thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please make sure to like the video before you leave subscribe to my channel and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye